Hey guys, today we're going to share how to regrout a tiled shower floor. Some of the grout in certain spots on this shower floor have popped out and are missing, but the grout that we used four years ago is overall really holding up very, very well. And we're going to share with you which grout that was and why you might want to use it for your project. This is the tiled shower floor that we're going to be working on today and regrouting in certain spots. We had to reseal this with a stone sealer. We made a video on that and we'll put that down in the description for you. As you can see, over 95% of the grout is in great shape and this is after four years. There are some spots where the grout popped out. So for example, right here, we're missing a grout spot here as well. And then finally this little spot right here, but overall, Everything looks like it's in great shape. So which grout did we use on this four years ago? This is the grout that we used. It's called Quartz Lock 2. This is a rapid cure grout. It's also a urethane grout, which means that it doesn't need to be sealed, which is awesome. And it's pre-mixed as well. And you can use it over a variety of different types of tile. The great thing about this grout is the fact that it's already pre-mixed. So when you open it up for the first time, even though this isn't a new bucket, it will look similar to this. There'll actually be uh, a little bit of a film on top and you need to mix that with a margin trowel. So get yourself a margin trowel and just hand mix it. You don't wanna be using a drill or a mechanical mixer on this type of grout. So again, you just wanna mix this for about one minute. As you can see, it's very, very easy to mix. Now what can you do if you need to remove most of the grout on your shower floor or your shower wall? What tool will make that so much easier and faster? I highly recommend that you get an oscillating multi-tool like this one here. This is a fine oscillating multi-tool, it's cordless. I will put a link to this tool down in the description of this video. Doesn't matter if you get a cordless one or a corded one, a multi-tool will help you out a lot with removing the grout in a shower. You should also get a carbide attachment for your multi-tool. In this case, it just simply clicks into the tool and then you can use this to remove the grout. Now, in a shower, be very, very careful to not go down too far into the shower pan because you will ruin the waterproofing underneath that. So only go down about an eighth of an inch. That's all you need. You may only need about a sixteenth of an inch as a matter of fact, because that would be bad to ruin the waterproofing in the shower pan or in the wall if you're removing the grout in the wall. No matter what grout you use, we highly recommend that you protect your hands in one way, shape or form. These look freakish, but they do work. The great thing about quartz lock is the fact that you just need to fill in the missing grout like so. It's very, very easy to use. So as you can see, this is all you need to do. So there's our first repair right there. Here's our second repair. So again, remember the grout that's around this is over four years old and the new grout that I'm putting in is exactly the same color. And that proves the color consistency of the quartz lock. And then our final repair right here. Quartz lock will last for a few years, which is great. It's not the cheapest product. So one of the biggest tips I have for you is to use press and seal. <laughs> so I know that this is kind of weird, but you can just take some press and seal Place it over the bucket like so, and then put the lid over top of that. It takes three days for quartz lock to fully set up, so you don't wanna take a shower within that three day period. The great thing about this product is the fact that it's got color consistency, it's super easy to use, it's pre-mixed, so there's no guesswork with missing, mixing the water with it, and it doesn't crack like cementitious grout. So if you're interested in quartz lock, we'll put a link to that down in the description for you. Also, if you're building a shower, so it's a curb shower, curbless shower, or you're redoing an entire bathroom and you want help with that and you'd like to have access to all of our videos in one spot, check out bathroomrepairtutor.com. It's a phenomenal resource. A lot of our members are very, very happy with the results that they've gotten and we think that it could help you out as well. We'll put a link to bathroomrepairtutor.com in the description as well. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.